Howdy Hoopers, this is Shay Rippinger of Hip the Hoopla at www.hipthehoopla.com. Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can be up and waist hooping if you've never tried hooping before or want to get back into it. This is some easy tips and tricks on how to waist hoop. I'm going to go over these really quickly so you may want to watch this a few times. So, here we go. Definitely first warm up. But first, start without the hoop and you're going to get a little front back motion going. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. And you can just get like a little pop going, boom, 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 boom. Or you can actually take and transfer the weight. So get that going and it's a little core action moving. It is not a hoop, hoop around the circle like this. You do not have to take the hoop around. You will stall out the hoop by, when doing that. So what we're going to do, second thing, is you get that, that little rocking motion going with the core, this little section of the core here. It's not a whole big movement. And then you're going to get, tuck your hands in, elbows in towards the small of your back, we'll create a little hoop shell, and you're going to twist and get the hoop going. It will stay up a little bit right there without you doing anything, but we're going to pick up with that little forward back motion. So, tuck the elbows in, give a good twist, throw it nice and straight. If you throw it wobbly, wobbly, it's really hard to pick up. Okay, so throw it nice and straight, get that forward back. You can also go side side. So two contact points, opposite. So forward, back, angle, angle, side, side. Doesn't matter, have some fun with it. You'll be moving around. You can hoop in either direction to go. Now, next thing to do, make sure you keep that going. And there are three recovery methods, so three. So if it slows down, it goes down. So if it slows down, it's going to go down. First recovery method is to speed it up. So if it slows down, we're going to speed that back up. That will help bring the hoop back up to whatever portion of the body you want, from legs to hips, from hips to waist, and even from waist to chest. So that's in a little bit more advanced, but you can get that just to know that that can be in your wheelhouse. So speed that up. And that's the first method of recovery is to speed up. Second one is what I call a duck in. So if the hoop goes down, we're gonna drop down and do a little speed wind up with the hip in the direction that your hoop is going. So if my hoop is going this way, then I'm going to drop down, duck in, little swoop with the hip and get that back up and going. One more time, drop down and bring that back up. Third, this is my favorite method of recovery, is to turn in the direction that the hoop is going. So if my hoop is going this way, I am going to turn this way. I'm going to be standing. So what's going to happen is the hoop is going to slow down. So don't let that freak you out at first because it's going to feel like you're losing it. But it, you're going to have more time to do what you want. As I say, the hoop is waiting for you to catch up with it. So. If my hoop is going around this way, I'm going to gently turn in this direction. You can just do this with little baby steps. So it doesn't have to be really big and it doesn't have to be fast. So, but it's a nice, gentle way of doing this. Again, you can do this in either direction. And with these recovery methods, I actually like to throw in all three of them and combine them. So speed up, duck in, turn with it. Speed up, duck in, turn with it. So hopefully you will take all of these little tips, practice a lot, it's a lot of fun, and it may take you a few go rounds to get all of this, but that is in a nutshell how to waist hoop. So in my classes at Hip the Hoopla, I can actually like literally have people hooping in less than 10 minutes on the waist. So a lot of positive encouragement and just keep at it. One really quick thing too, this is just an added little fun thing from class. We inevitably all drop our hoops. We have what we call a happy hoop glee word, and it is a happy word instead of a swear word. And so whenever you drop your hoop, which you will if you ever hoop, <laughs> it's going to happen, is have something happy to say. So mine's woohoo or whatever the happy word is of the time. So, and then pick it up like you meant to do it. So if you're dropping your hoop, pick it up and do something else that's lots of fun. Okay, this has been Shay Rippinger of Hip the Hoopla, www.hipthehoopla.com. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it's very helpful. Please hit the likes on it, visit our page, www.hipthehoopla.com and also Facebook. Hit us up on the likes, put out some videos, um, try and 
give you all sorts of good stuff. So I would love to work with you too. Have fun, practice lots, enjoy hooping. Welcome to the circle. Bye, be kind to one another.